Clowney coming over, going from the Texans, going to the Seahawks. Uh, you know, the Seahawks definitely upgraded their pass rush in a significant way. Uh, Three-time Pro Bowler in Clowney. Uh, the Seahawks are sending Texans two players, Jacob Martin and <coughs> excuse me, and Mingo in a 2020 third round pick. Six foot five, 255 is Clowney. A second uh, defensive end with a Pro Bowl resume uh, that the Se Seahawks have added in 2019. Um, joining their Ziggy there, Ziggy Anash, uh, who was signed as a free agent in May. Um, you know, since joining the Texans in 2014, number all, uh, number all, number one overall pick out of South Carolina, 62 games, 205 tackles, 29 sacks. Uh, some you know injuries early in his career, missed only three games over the past three seasons. He's recorded 18 and a half sacks over the past two. Uh, so he's um, he's really been tearing it up. He has been tearing it up. Um, that edge rush now is um, scary. Uh, Ziggy is returning to health now in an ash. Uh, missed all four preseason games, recovering from shoulder injury. That ended his uh, 2018 season as well as a minor groin injury. So, when you look at uh, when you look at uh, Clowney and what what this guy could do um, for the Seahawks, um, I like this trade. Uh, I like this trade. You might say that the Texans. Hand uh, was kind of, um, you know, forced here. So you go from a defense, right, uh, lacking a pass rush to possibly having the best pass rush right now in the league with Clowney and Ziggy. Just uh, wow. Uh, tearing it, uh, tearing it uh, uh, apart. Um, guys, definitely gonna do uh, do some damage for you guys. Uh, and, and clowning. Uh, how can you not like this move? As long as you keep him longer than the uh, the Freeney. Uh, signing, if you guys uh, remember that. Um, now, you might think, you know, where will the Seahawks be? You know, 6 and 10 on this year. Are they average? You know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, playing out. But one thing that I think, just by looking at this trade that you have done, you gotta you gotta look at um, you know Schneider and say, man, you gotta you gotta trust the uh, the process. <coughs> which which Schneider? Because this guy has um, he's done good uh, he's I, I like uh, what what he's um, what he's done um, if he stays healthy he's gonna get you 12 plus sacks right and if he decides to leave next year the Seahawks, the Seahawks will probably get the third round pick back as a compensatory pick. How can you not like it? Honestly, how can you not like it? It's a win-win. You get a great rusher. 
potentially a long-term deal if all goes well with a top five rusher. And again, you get your third round pick back, you know, for, for the rental. Can't argue with that. Not to mention, too, right, that the Texans are also uh, paying $7 million <coughs> of his contract, which is <coughs> which is huge, guys, because I'm coughing off my lungs here. I like this trade. Good move for the... Um, Good move for him. Not to mention uh, Polite as well, who could be huge for the Seahawks, right? John Snyder, Pete Carroll, they're killing it. Offensive and defensive line was the Seahawks' biggest weaknesses last year. Now they're probably the strongest that it's been since the Super Bowl run, in my honest opinion. Football as well. Look forward to speaking to you guys very, very soon.